Hey indie game fans, turn-based RPGs have been another favourite of mine ever since I played Final Fantasy VI, Chrono Trigger and of course Pokemon when I was younger. While the traditional Japanese powerhouses have been making a recent comeback with titles like Bravely Default and Octopath Traveler, indie developers have continued to put out great ones, case in point, Zeboid Games' Cosmic Star Heroine. So here are the top 5 upcoming indie turn-based RPGs for 2018 and beyond. There is a great mystery in Rifa Land. Of grim ancient shadow, which light calls and tempts. Of grey somber pilgrim, whose name never called. What first drew me to Grimshade is the distinct badger character which drew me in, after which I then found a gorgeous hand-drawn art style and a turn-based combat system. One of the key factors in this genre for me is that I must have a world which I am curious about and want to explore to discover its backstory and where these characters fit in, which this game appears to have. Set 80 years after an event known as the Great Flood, with a kingdom split into three states due to civil war, there's plenty of room for political intrigue and plots, so far so good. On the combat end, different equipment will affect character skill options, which is interesting, and apparently each battle will have a unique scenario, which I'm all for if it increases the tactical depth that we need. Gorgeous looking game, so look out for this next month. A turn-based RPG based on the parody professional wrestling league Kaiju Big Battle, complete with the intentional misspelling of the word battle, this is one part ridiculous wrestling satire and one part honest to goodness turn-based RPG and I love the mashup of the two. The Kaiju heroes were tricked by the evil Dr. Cube and were sucked into a space-time distortion and thus they have to find a way to save the day. Multiple playable characters with their own unique abilities which are used in overworld exploration, pretty funny writing and fantastic pixel art completes the package and hopefully we will see it later this year. Pixel Noir self-describes as Earthbound meets Sin City and has a main story thread that draws from its noir inspiration. Playing as an ex-cop who got his partner killed and was thrown into jail for 10 years, you now live as a private eye taking on small cases to keep your mind off your haunted past. However, an opportunity then comes along to allow you to clear your name once and for all. Spotting an SNES look with an isometric perspective, one of the main features is the ability to customize your guns, changing barrels, sights, grips, etc., which affects the stats of the gun. The combat system allows for combination attacks with your party members, as well as timing-based abilities, and there is even the equivalent of Witcher Vision that highlights points of interest, and this should be a great detective story. A classic turn-based RPG inspired by the SNES classics, I love the overall theme of Kingdoms of the Dump, which, as the name implies, is centered around trash. As examples, you play as the trash can knight Dustin Binsley fighting the toxic Gremlin army to prevent the lands of Phil from an all-out war, featuring locations like the trash mounds of Gabrasia, the Laundry Forest, and Tin Alley. Love it. Sweet, sweet pixel art as well, and the overworld exploration is a little more freeform. Since your characters are allowed to jump over ledges and obstacles to find secrets and explore. So excited for this, but it may be a little ways off since they are teasing a Kickstarter campaign soon.
Speaking of Kickstarter, retro inspiration and fantastic pixel art, The Grand Grimoire is another in-development title that has these elements. All the classic must-haves are checked, including an airship which you can upgrade, and the unique feature of this game is the presence of mech suits which your characters can use. I love the look of the game, especially the overworld map, so plenty to look forward to in this. Unfortunately, for these last two entries, it might be a little while before we finally get to see them, but as always, I'm encouraged by the level of talent and the future of the indie game scene. Anyway, thank you for watching, please subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, follow my Steam Creator, and check out the subreddit to keep up with the best indie games, and I will see you in the next video.